Hello and welcome. In this video we are going to learn more about protein and the so-called amino acids. If protein is the material for building muscles, it is also important you get the right material. If you need planks and nails to build a house, this is represented by amino acids when building muscles. Just because you eat a lot of protein doesn't necessarily mean you have the right material to build muscles. You have to make sure you have enough of the different types of amino acids. There are 22 different amino acids for humans, and 9 of these are essential, which means we must get them from our food. The other ones can be synthesized within our bodies. So if we don't have the 9 essential amino acids, we can't use the protein. The 9 different essential amino acids are, with a reservation for pronunciation, histidine, isoleucine, leucine, Lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, threonine, tryptophan, and valine. Now, it's not hard to get all the essential amino acids, but certain food types might be good to have a closer look at, as they might lack a specific amino acid, while other food types might have a lot of the same amino acid. Meat, chicken, seafood and so on have all the essential amino acids and the same goes for dairy products and eggs now do you have to eat these things every day is it impossible to get all the essential amino acids as a vegan absolutely not as mentioned what some food types lacks others have extra of rice has a shortage of lysine but plenty of methionine Beans, chickpeas and lentils has a shortage of methionine but plenty of lysine. So by combining rice and chickpeas you will get all the essential amino acids. Different types of foods are harder to combine, like peanuts which lacks a lot of different amino acids and gelatin which is as good as worthless. So remember, do not only look at how much protein different food contains because the quality impacts a lot. And with the right information about the different food types, you can always make sure your body gets the right amino acids. Thank you for watching. The next video will be about different food types that contains a lot of protein and what kind of essential amino acids that are included.